Hello network and welcome back to my channel. On this tutorial, I will show you how to create a page turn slideshow in After Effects. Instead of using images, I am using video clips on this tutorial. You can download the project file and footages on the links below. So you can follow along with me. So let's start. I will create a new composition new composition and I will name it placeholder one nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and the duration is six seconds only and the background is black click OK and after that I will double click this composition by pressing ctrl d twice and then open this two and three compositions double click it to open it up and then click the placeholder one open the asset folder here drag down my footage one to my timeline and then grab the text tool I will type travel the world I'm using Sunday morning font and you can use whatever font you want okay I'll just position this to where I want probably here and then I will align it horizontally then I will click placeholder 2 drag the footage to here to my timeline and again grab the text tool and I will type enjoying my time walking also okay if you will put there hiking no problem i will reposition this one here i will click the placeholder 3 drag down the footage 3 here and grab the text tool again and I will type beautiful scenery from up above. Then I will reposition it on this side. After this one, what I will do is to create another composition and I will name it media one. Click OK. I will duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D twice. I will again highlight this media 2 and media 3. Double click it to open it up. And then I will click the media 1. Erase this placeholder 3, 2 and 1. 
I will now drag the placeholder one to my timeline here and I will find CC page churn. and drop this effect on this layer and I will move my playhead to about 4 seconds and then I will change the controls from bottom right corner to classic UI change the fold radius to about 300 and the light direction is 100 The back page I will click none and the opacity is 100% if you want to change the back color of your page you can change it in here and then I will move to about 10 frames and click the fold position I will click this one click this one in here add another 10 frames and then drag this one like that and then I will add another 10 frames and then I will drag this to the left until such time that the footage is gone to my composition go back to 10 frames make a keyframe here in full direction move forward to about 10 frames and change this fold direction to negative 90 so now if you will play this one there you go okay we will now go to media 2 again you have to drag down the placeholder 2 to your media 2 timeline and then apply an effect called cc page churn and change the controls from bottom right corner to classic UI. change the fold radius to about 300 the light direction is 100 no back page the opacity is 100% move your playhead to 4 seconds add 10 frames on it make a keyframe on fold position and click this one here and add 10 frames move this one to about half and then move again another 10 frames and then move this on the left until such time that footage is gone and go back to another 10 frames make a keyframe on the full direction and then move forward to about 10 frames and change this to negative 90 and then what I will do here is to highlight this page turn Control C, go to about 4 and 10 frames. I guess I will add first this placeholder 3 down and then Control V. So the effect will be copied on this layer. So when you press U, you can see here that there are frames created by copying from your media 2 effect to media 3 effects so now I will create a new composition and I will name it render and then the second duration is 15 and I will click OK Take this media 3 and 2 and 1 
and then I will drag down all this media one two three and then go to four seconds and then highlight this one and press open bracket key to move the layers forward move your playhead again to eight seconds and then highlight this media three and press the open bracket key so now if we will play this one So let's add a sound effects on it. Go to assets and drop down the swoosh. And I will move this swoosh when the page is starting to open by pressing open bracket key to move the shoes again go to about more than nine seconds until such time that the page is starting to open and then move the swoosh by pressing open bracket key again and then move your playhead forward again until such time that the page is starting to open move your push by pressing open bracket key for my background music i will drop down this music here and open this audio here i will create a keyframe for about 12 and then i will create a keyframe and then go to about the end here and I will make it negative 48 and close it now our tutorial has been done and uh, I hope that this will help you in doing your own project in animation don't forget to subscribe like and press the notification bell so that you will be always updated to the videos that I'm going to be uploading. My thoughts for today is that all the choices are made in the mind and all the acceptance are made in the spirit. Thank you guys for watching and God bless.